Hello everyone, welcome to At Home with Lisa Lisa. Thank you all so, so much for clicking on this video today. I am so excited and I hope you are excited too because we are celebrating 6K subscribers. Yay! Thank you all so, so much. We will not be here without each and every one of you and we appreciate your continued support. So today you all, we are doing a collaboration and a celebration titled Recreation 6K Tablescape Celebration. So everyone is supposed to choose one of my tablescapes that I have created and recreate it in their own way. So this is going to be excited. I am so humble. I am so touched. I am so grateful for each and every one of you whom have participated in recreating one of my tablescapes. I am so grateful for each and every one of you, and I am so grateful for my host, the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, and I'm also grateful for each of the co-hosts, which includes Lorna's Decor, I am Shakita D, Annalise Cubbard, Jennifer at Home, Aria Designs, Deborah Cabasa Home Living, Lifestyle Designs with Teresa, Debbie Bubbles, Styling with Gigi Faison, Design with Emma, and Pure Elegance by Kim. I thank each and every one of you beautiful ladies for joining in to recreate one of my tablescapes. So without further ado, you all, let's get into the tablescape that I have decided to recreate of one of my own. So grab your drink, grab your snack. Find a cozy place in your home, sit back, relax, and enjoy as I create this beautiful sunflower and bee tablescape for you using the colors yellow, black, and white, and off-white as well too. So I hope you guys are excited and I hope you enjoy this beautiful tablescape. And I appreciate each and every one of you more than you'll ever know. Kick back and catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa Lisa. Kick back, it's a lifestyle. We at home with Lisa Lisa. Kick back and catch a vibe. So we're going to start our table by using this black and white stripe runner. If you have been watching me for some time, you've seen this runner several times on tablescapes. And also everything that I am using here on this tablescape, I already had. I didn't purchase anything that I am using here today. Nothing is new. I'm just bringing back things that I've already had. So I love the black and white thing. I really love it. So you're also going to see me using different types of patterns throughout this tablescape. Now, all I did here was I just laid down some long stem sun, sunflowers. I just laid them throughout in different angles here to create a centerpiece for this tablescape the sunflowers are so beautiful and that yellow looks so good against the black and white stripe so y'all just keep on watching to see what's next to enhance this centerpiece I added some lemons here. I also added different florals like carnations and roses throughout to give it a more fuller look. And so far it's looking beautiful. that 
that wants to join in on this 6K celebration, you are more than welcome to. Just make sure that you use YouTube etiquette. You mentioned the host, which is myself at home with Lisa Lisa and the Grace Life DIY home decor. And also put our information along with the co-host information in the description box. And also make sure you place the playlist link inside your description box as well too. So anyone whom is interested, they can just click on the playlist and go to the playlist and everyone that is involved will be listed in the playlist. So as you guys can see, I am sprucing up my centerpiece. I am adding candles. I am adding um, florals to this centerpiece. And y'all, I am liking the repetition that is going on with the black and the white and the yellow and the stripes. Get it, get into it. So I've decided to use the B placemats and I struggled with this a little bit because the B placemats you all, as you can see, they are so beautiful. And this is a piece that you want to be seen. You don't want it to be covered up. So at first I was wanting to use it as a placemat. But then as I kept looking at it, I was like, no. The place are hiding it. It's hiding the bee. It's beautiful. I want it to be seen. So what I decided to do is I decided to camouflage it in with my charger plates and all. So you'll see it off on the side so you can really see the detail in the bee and how it brings such beauty to this tablescape. see the repetition here do you all see me repeating the patterns this black and white stripe is in the table runner it is in the charger plates and it's also in the candlesticks that are on the stand as well too I love bringing repetition to the decor because it makes it look so elegant and so chic like Now here, I'm throwing in a different pattern here, but guess what? I'm still using the same colors and I am still going with the sunflower and the bee theme. I just really think everything is meshing together so beautifully. how you're able to see all of the patterns all of the designs through this place setting so you can see the stripes on the charger plates you can see the leafy floral and bee design that is on the plate now I'm going to add a saucer plate that also has the flowers and the bees on it as well too and you're still able to see everything clearly and each saucer has a message this one says be sweet so each saucer plate on each plate has a message that one says be sweet and then on this one here it says be kind and it has the B on it. So each plate has a different saying and it has somewhat of a different design on it as well. But again, you all, you can clearly see everything on this tablescape. You can see the designs, you can see the patterns, you can see the colors, you can see the creativity that's flowing through. And this one says, be happy and it has 
as you can see different design on that saucer as well and this is a place setting for four here as i always do and then lastly this saucer says be true so you need to be kind be happy be true and be i forgot what the other one was <laughs> excuse me so here i go again y'all i am adding another pattern in here i am adding the bowl here and as you can see i've decided to place the bowl on the outside of my place setting and that's mainly because whatever the saying is on the saucer i want you to be able to see it and i don't want to cover the design up that's on the saucer plate so i think it was a great idea to put the bowl to the side so you guys i hope you have been enjoying this video so next clip you're going to see is going to be the reveal thank you guys so so much for sticking it out and watching to the end love buzz congratulations we did it we reached 6k subscribers i hope you all enjoyed the recreation of this tablescape and i hope you like it enough to give this video a big thumbs up and also y'all i am eternally grateful for your support your unwavering support has been a true source of comfort for me throughout my youtube journey y'all have been here y'all have been clicking the thumbs up y'all have been leaving me comments y'all have been sharing me out and i am so grateful for you for that and i want you all to know that it is not going unnoticed and with that being said everyone that created a video and participated in my 6k celebration I am going to put your name in a hat and we're going to do a couple of uh, cash drawings here. So again, if you participated in this 6K collaboration, my way to give back to you guys and to let you all know how much I appreciate you guys supporting me, we're going to do two cash giveaways. So again, thank you all so, so much. And let's get into this reveal, y'all this tablescape turned out beautifully i love it the yellow and the black and the whites and the few hints of gray turned out so nicely i love those colors together i am loving the different patterns sometimes when you mix different patterns together you can look at it and it just doesn't mesh but here in this tablescape these patterns mesh everything is cohesive together everything is matching we have repetition throughout this tablescape we also have different levels of heights throughout this tablescape we have um, similarity here and it is just beautiful i am loving this tablescape i'm loving this creation here that i have created for this 6k celebration and again i appreciate each and every one of you all whom have participated and i will probably be announcing on my community tab i will put up a post on september the 1st who the two winners are from the celebration so without further ado let's look at this tablescape with the lit candles Y'all, these black and white candles are so beautiful, so beautiful. And again, thank you so, so much to Grace Life DIY Home Decor for steering this celebration and collaboration. You are so important to me. You're always here for me, and it does not go unnoticed. And I appreciate each and every one of you whom have participated here or who may participate in the future. I appreciate everyone for watching. And again, please give this video a big thumbs up if you can share it out. 
share it out and again this is a beauty and I love it and I hope you all love it as much as I did and I cannot wait to see the recreations that you all have done in my honor in celebrating the 6k celebration and without further ado you all at home with Lisa Lisa is signing off from this beautiful bee and sunflower themed tablescape I will see you all in the next video bye bye love bugs see y'all in the next Kick back and catch a vibe We at home with Lisa Lisa Kick back, it's a lifestyle